just about anything that could go wrong will go wrong under this current government of Trinidad and Tobago. A couple months ago, about 20 wooden ladders were bought for the sum of $1 million TT dollars. That's roughly about 50,000 TT dollars for a wooden ladder. Today, on the front page of the Express newspaper, we're seeing that the ladders can't be mounted onto the fire trucks. It means that $1 million TT dollars of our taxpaying dollars just went up in smoke. And we are wondering why the public servants are only getting a 4% increase and why they can't get their back pay as promised for Christmas. I want you guys to take a look at something though. And it's a recurrent team. Take a look at the name of the company associated with the purchase of these ladders. The average cost of a ladder is roughly about £1,200 with delivery to Trinidad and Tobago. It means that these 20 ladders would have cost about $240,000 TT delivered to our doorsteps. The company who procured these ladders would have made a profit of $760,000 TT, just about three quarters of a million dollars. This is the same company that's bringing in the pepper sprays, the same company that's getting the ambulance contract, the same company that's transporting the prisoners in Trinidad and Tobago. The same one that's involved in the medical marijuana industry in Barbados and soon to be Trinidad. Knowing how this government works in Trinidad and Tobago, the only thing that's certain about this situation is that somebody's going to get promoted. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.